Hi everyone, my name is Hannah and I'm a graduate student at Columbia University. Welcome to the NSDC Data Science Flashcard video series. This series will break down data science topics in simple terms that you can leverage throughout your data science journey. Today, we'll be continue to talk about linear regression here, and we will cover two parts of linear regression, the least squared methods and also the evaluation metrics for linear regression. So let's start with the least squared methods. Least squared methods is serving as the basis of model estimation. It tries to minimize the sum of squared differences between the observed value and predicted value to find a best fitting line. It minimizes the arrow, which is the sum of squared residuals, defined as the vertical distances between the data points and the line by adjusting the model parameters, which is beta zero and beta one. And to help us to find the best beta zero and beta one that could lead to the least squared um, arrow. So now let's talk about the model evaluation. There's two popular ones for evaluating a linear regression model. The first is root mean squared error, which measures the average prediction error. So a lower RMSC value indicates a more accurate predictions. The second one is R squared. R squared quantifies the proportion of variance that could be explained by the model. So in practice, a higher R squared value indicates a better fit between a model and the data points. This is the end of the second part of linear regression videos. I welcome you to follow along with the rest NSDC data science flashcard video series to learn more about data science pipeline, data science ethics, and additional data science topics to support your journey. I will see you in the next one.